Hello out there, my friends in YouTube world and Twitter. I am SSJ4 Vegeta1986. You can just call me Vegeta because I'm humble that way. And welcome to a video which I did before, which was how they should turn Roman Reigns heel. They didn't, obviously, because they don't know when a good idea is passing by them. But since that didn't happen, I am going now to a new video. This is in honor of my 900 Twitter followers. Thank you so much for that, by the way. And as the unannounced future Raw and SmackDown general manager, ladies, find a guy who could do both, I'm going to do another way of how I'm going to book, aka how WWE should book this whole Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair feud, aka the War of the Horsewomen. Yes, all four horsewomen on both sides are going to be involved in this. As of recording this video, the last time we saw what happened was that Ronda Rousey cost both Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair their women's title. Now, Asuka is the champion. Yay, Asuka. So, I'm going to continue on from here. I'm going to skip next week's Raw because it was pre-recorded. We already know that Ronda beats Natalia. Spoilers. But we're going to go into the new year. Becky and Charlotte both want a piece of Ronda Rousey. But since they're on SmackDown, they they unfortunately ha don't have any, any alternative. So, in the meantime, Raw tries to find a new number one contender for Ronda Rousey's title for the Royal Rumble. So, as these matches go on, every time they try having a match for number one contender, either Charlotte, Becky, or both basically ruin the match. So it doesn't matter who it is. Even Sasha and Bailey, they get their opportunity spoiled by these two. So Stephanie McMahon puts her foot down. He says, you know what? You two want a sh piece of Ronda? You two both are going to have beat the clock challenge matches. It's beat the clock. Not They're not going to face each other. The last thing we need is one of them look losing and looking weak. That beat the clock matches. The one who gets the shortest time in it will face Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's title at the Royal Rumble. So... First, Charlotte goes, she faces Naomi. Charlotte wins. I don't know what time, get this, whatever time you want to give her. And so then Becky faces Sonya Deville. Becky cannot beat Charlotte's time. Becky goes on to the Royal Rumble to face Ronda Rousey. Becky's not happy about it. She, let, she tells them basically that I should be facing her. I'm the most worthy opponent for Ronda Rousey. Stephanie McMahon says, if you're so worthy, you can enter the Royal Rumble. And by the way, you're number one. Good luck. So, you go to the Royal Rumble. It's Charlotte versus Ronda. The match, you know, goes the way it does. The ref, female male, takes a bump. They're out. Charlotte takes out the kendo stick again and wails on Ronda like she did at the Survivor Series. And basically, Ronda is laid out. Then, all of a sudden, out of the crowd, two hooded figures come in. They attack Charlotte. They basically destroy Charlotte's shoulder, her arm. They throw her back in the ring. They reveal themselves to be Marina Shafira and Jasmine Duke, the other two, two of the members of the MMA Horsewomen. As Ronda finally gets herself up, she's not aware of what just happened. The referee gets, her, gets him or herself up. Ronda gets Charlotte into the arm breaker. Charlotte taps. Ronda retains. And then, during the Royal Rumble, Becky's in there. She's number one. She is the Iron Woman of this match, obviously. Becky makes it all the way to the end. But around 20 to 23, out comes Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler, basically, you want to make look like a beast. And basically, anyone who comes up to Baszler, it's a bad day to be them. And she, and they, and she pretty much takes out everyone. So down it comes down to Baszler and Becky. And somehow, some way, Becky eliminates Baszler. Becky is going to WrestleMania. Becky will be facing Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's title. I know that WWE has already told Charlotte she's going to be main eventing. But I think in the story I'm trying to tell, it would be better if Charlotte was not involved. So... Now we're leading on to other things. Charlotte, since she can't, she wasted, lost her opportunity, also pretty 
ticked off at Duke and Shafira, now decides, you know what? If I can't get Ronda, I might as well get the next best thing, the SmackDown Women's title. So, at Fastlane, it will be Asuka versus Charlotte. And in the meantime, Shayna Baszler is called up to SmackDown. And she pretty much wrecks every woman on the women's roster. And basically, what she was doing in NXT to women like, you know, Dakota Kai and to uh, Candice LeRae, basically just breaking arms and just basically torturing and just being a massive just jerk. That's the problem with, with the WWE main roster. You do not know how to make these women look tough. It's either catty, bit bitchy, or pretty much, you know, you've, you've heard that promo. You've heard a lot of people complain about the promo of them basically sounding sincere and then, oh, look, I'm a heel. But no, Ron, Trina Bays is basically is a badass. I'm better than everyone on SmackDown and Raw except for Ronda because Ronda's my friend, yada, yada, yada. And also during this time as well, we get introduced the WWE Women's Tag Team Titles. WWE, not Raw or SmackDown. Because I don't think either roster can really sustain their own tag team titles. So I think that these women's tag team belts should float between Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. That's going to be important. So there's a tournament on both sides, which will culminate also at Fastlane, which being Sasha Banks and Bayley versus Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. And, and Becky Lynch, you know, wrestles someone. Maybe the maybe one of the Iconics. You know, just, just keep her looking strong. Keep her just kicking ass, taking names. Just getting ready for Ronda at uh, WrestleMania. Ronda Rousey, on the other hand, will face... Doesn't really matter. It could be anyone. Maybe Ember Moon. We could do Ronda versus Ember. That would be a really good match. So, we get the fast lane. As much as it pains me to say it, Charlotte beats Asuka. Charlotte is not a new SmackDown champion. And after she wins, she gets attacked from behind by Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler victimizes Charlotte after the match, holds up the belt, basically saying, I want you next. But she's not going to get a shot at her just yet. Also, in the, at Fastlane, Sasha and Bailey beat DeVille and uh, Mandy Rose. And afterwards, Duke and Shafira attack them both. Lay them out. Ronda wins, but only because of interference from the other three, all three other horsewomen. Ronda, the next night, is a little ticked at them. She says, look, I know you're my sisters. I appreciate you helping me, but I don't need you to fight my fights for me. Shafira, Duke, Bazer are like, well, you're, we're, we're a family. We need to help each other. We need to show these plastic little wannabe divas why we're the baddest women on the planet and then out come the other the four or the horsemen they get into a fight it gets broken up basically they're told you're not allowed to even touch each other so then we go on to elimination chamber Charlotte, Charlotte defends it inside the chamber Basler is not in it she loses by count out to you know, Asuka or something like that Oscar versus Baszler would be another great match. You can do one on SmackDown. Meanwhile, I would have Sasha and Bailey defend against the Iconics. And then, as a number one contenders match, Duke and Shafira would face Rose and DeVille. Duke and Shafira would win after Mandy Rose abandons Sony DeVille. This is going to build towards a breakup between Rose and DeVille and turning DeVille into a face. Which I think would be pretty good. I think Sony DeVille could be a decent baby face. So then... You go on to WrestleMania. The matches for the women would be Duke and Shafira versus Sasha and Bailey, Shayna Baszler versus Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Title, and Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Title. And that match, Baszler, Ronda versus Lynch, would be Hell in a Cell. I think with everything happening with all the horsewomen getting involved. That is the only stipulation you could have. Keep them all out of the cell. And yes, this is the one time where that would actually hold. None of them get involved. It is just Ronda versus Becky. But into WrestleMania, I would have that Becky and Sasha lose their titles to Duke and Shafira. 
bit of interference. You can have chicanery and shma a shmazi kind of finish, but they would lose the titles to Shafira and Duke. And then I would have Charlotte lose to Baszler with interference from Shafira and Duke with Bailey and Sasha trying to help Charlotte the best they can, but does no good. Charlotte gets put into that sleeper hole that Baszler does, and Charlotte is no longer women's champion. The only member of these women who would lose would be Ronda Rousey. I know that you would think, no, this is going to make Rousey look weak, but what's going to happen during the match is basically that she basically gets knocked out from maybe taking a blow to the post or something like that, and basically she doesn't. she's not even conscious enough to, 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 to tap to disarm her. But, but Becky Lynch would win. And this also would create the scent between the horsewomen of MMA. Where Shafira, Baszler, and Duke are like, hey, we won our matches. You're the only one who didn't. Trying to accuse Rousey of being a weak link. Which then you could build, maybe even towards, Summer, towards uh, SummerSlam, or even into Survivor Series, where you would have that 8-on-8 eight eight match, where maybe they all turn on Rousey, building towards maybe the Royal Rumble. During uh, Baszler versus uh, Rousey. And then maybe, just as it added a little wrinkle to this whole thing, maybe add a little wild card to it. Maybe add the Black Lotus Triad. Granted, they wouldn't be called the Black Lotus Triad, but a team of Asuka, Kairi Sane, and Io Shirai to the mix. Basically, not taking either side, but very much just ruining both sides' days, which would be good. And also, a good thing about having Shafir and Duke holding the tag team titles is having an NXT. So you can introduce people, maybe if they lose a title to someone on NXT, maybe like a team like Team Kick, the team of Kai and Nixon Newell, a.k.a. Tegan Knox, would be interesting. And so that's what I think. Tell me in the comments what you think. I think this is the best way to do it. I know they want to do a triple threat between Charlotte, Rousey, and Lynch. Granted, won't be a terrible match. But I think the whole thing between Becky and Ronda needs to be one-on-one. -on -one. I think the whole thing with the war on Twitter, the lead-up to Sapphire Series, which basically fell flat because someone who's not like most girls actually injures her co-workers, ruined it for everyone, but that's what I think. So let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, share with friends, and I'll catch you next time.